comic strip tells of the Eagle Force. Stories you can act up with die-cast metal Eagle Force action figures, each sold separately. There's Captain Eagle and Talon. You can pretend K.O. is a judo fighter. Turk, a strongman. And Sergeant Brown, a demolitions expert. Boom! And this is the enemy, General Mamba. Destroy the Eagle Force. Head of Riot. Plus Baron Von Chill, Beta Man, and Shock Trooper, each sold separately. Captain Eagle, K.O., Turk, and all Eagle Force figures, each sold separately by Nego. Today's review will be on the Fresh Monkey Fiction and Zika Toys, Riot vs. Eagle Force. And this is for the Riot Pilot Vulture Squad, Air Combat Specialist. Now, if you're the roving international organization of tyranny bent on world domination, well, you're definitely going to need an Air Force. And if you have an Air Force, you're going to need pilots to fly those planes. And that's where the Vulture Squad comes in. And as far as I know, the Vulture Squad is new for this new Eagle Force line, and they look awesome. Now, as far as the design goes, if you look at the picture here, it almost looks like he could be a superhero or something because he's wearing like a tight bodysuit and tall boots and stuff. And the figure definitely matches that perfectly. So that is very awesome. So yeah, it's kind of a basic looking figure, but definitely an awesome looking figure. Looking at the back of the card and it's exactly like all the others. 100% collector friendly. Just slide this card out, pull the figure out of the bubble, play with the figure all you want, put it back in the bubble and slide this card back in and you've still got a mint on card figure. Now everything up here is exactly the same as all the other figures and then back here it has a roll call for series 4. Which includes Hornet, Assassin, Riot Pilot Vulture Squad, Air Combat Specialist, The Cat, Expert, and Eagle Forest Trooper, Arctic Operations Specialist. Below them we have Jack Frost, Arctic Operations Officer, Riot Commando, Desert Infantry Operative, Eagle Force Trooper, Wilderness Operations Specialist, and Agent Grimm, Mercenary. Looking at the bio it reads, With the drastic changes in the world's economy and the erosion of the global Cold War, it was quickly evident that the world had more pilots than it had aircraft for them to fly. One of Riot's first goals was to seek out and recruit the upper echelon of international combat pilots and work them into the Riot command structure. The best of the best became part of the Vulture Squadron, an elite fighting force of aircraft led by Vulture and specially designed for quick launch urban bombing runs and air defense of Riot headquarters. Well, wait a minute, isn't that the plot of Top Gun 2? I have to admit I wasn't expecting an invitation back. They're called orders, Maverick. Underneath his picture it says, Riot Pilot, Vulture Squad, Air Combat Specialist. And there's a quote that reads, It's safe to say that nobody took Riot especially seriously at first. They were another rogue organization with a bark much worse than their bite. The United Nations changed their tune when those red-colored planes descended from the clouds and bombed that convoy into nothingness. <laughs> I gotta say, after reading the back of the card, it does make me wish that Fresh Monkey Fiction and Zika Toys made vehicles to go along with these Eagle Force and Riot figures because I want one of those red planes mentioned in his little bio there. That would be awesome. But I guess in the meantime, this Vulture Squad pilot is grounded, but I do hear that he's been staring at Wild Weasel's Rattler, so let's hope a fight doesn't break out between the two of them. And in the meantime, I say we open it! So, here's the Riot pilot Vulture Squad fresh out of the package, and he looks awesome! Now, with all of these Eagle Force figures, there's always a little bit of shared parts between the figures, and this one's no exception. His arms and upper torso are shared with K.O., and his head is shared with a fire bug. Now, in the case of the head, I don't really mind, because this is a troop builder, just like the fire bugs, so a little uniformity between the heads is just fine with me. And this torso here, well, that's just a generic muscle body, so that's fine, too. But, that's just the parts that this shares with Eagle Force figures. There's actually another line called Comic Adventure Heroes, and there's a character called Strike Force Trooper, and you may see a little bit of similarity between this and that figure. Now, I don't know which one came first, this figure or the uh, Strike Force Trooper, but honestly, I don't care. I'm just glad they're getting a lot out of this mold because it's a really cool figure. Looking at the figure from behind, and I keep thinking that's Black Mass from Batman. Now, speaking of superheroes, this almost looks like it could be Daredevil. <laughs> that's pretty awesome, man. He's got the tall boots, the gloves, everything, the red and black. That is pretty awesome. But yeah, it's just a generic superhero-looking body. 
Looking at him from the side, and that helmet looks so cool. I love it. And then down here at his arm, you'll notice that he actually has a Vulture Squad design there. That is awesome. Honestly, this is the first time I'm seeing this, too. I thought that was another Riot logo there on his arm. Nope. That's even better, and I love that little Vulture. That is so cool. Down here, he's got the tall black gloves. That's awesome. I love the stripe down his entire torso and his legs there. That is so cool. Yeah, that is so neat, and I love seeing that little Vulture Squadron little logo there. That is awesome. As for his accessories, just like all the other figures in the line, they come in this little plastic baggie, and that is cool, so let's see what he includes. Just like all the other figures in the line, he includes eight extra hands. He has these grabby hands. He has these trigger finger hands. He has these accessory holding hands, which look exactly like the ones he came equipped with right out of the package, and he's got two fists. Now the coolest thing is, is all of these hands match the two he already has equipped on the figure, so you could swap out just one of these and it would match perfectly. He also includes this gun, which we've seen before, and it's still as cool as it was the first time, but something we haven't seen before is this holster, and that is awesome! Now you may notice that this is a right side holster. Now I guess you could put it on the left side if you want to draw with the right hand. But you'll notice too that there's a little hole there at the top. A little peg hole. Well that's because the figure has two little pegs built onto his belt. Now you'll notice that there are two of them and this only included one holster. That's because the Strike Force Trooper figure actually included two holsters. He had a gun holster and another holster for his sword. And man, I wish they'd have included the sword and the other holster. Or at least the other holster and a different weapon, I don't care. But that would have been really cool. But right now we've just got two pegs and only one holster. That's not to say that it doesn't look awesome once it's on there with the gun in it. That is so cool. So, how does the Riot Pilot Vulture Squad look standing alongside of the rest of his Riot Brothers in Arms? Well, I'd say they look really awesome, and just seeing all these figures together makes me so happy. Because I had been looking forward to these figures, but by the time that I found out that it was a Kickstarter, yeah, the Kickstarter was over. So, yeah, I totally missed out on them. So, it's a good thing I have a time machine, so I went back in time and stole me a set. I mean, bought me a set. But you know what? These are awesome, and you can see these two guys here look a lot alike. Hmm, I think they shop at the same mask store. But yeah, this Vulture Squad figure is awesome. So, there's my review of the Fresh Monkey Fiction and Zika Toys, Riot vs. Eagle Force, Riot Pilot, <gasps> Vulture Squad! And this figure is awesome. So awesome, in fact, it makes me want to look into getting some of those comic adventure heroes. I mean, I'm running out of these Riot and Eagle Force figures. I mean, there is another version of this figure. He's a stealth version, but he is really, really limited, and I haven't been able to get it. My poor old time machine has its limitations. So, until next time, tune in for more! Can Captain Eagle fight off General Mamba? It's up to you. When you're in command of the Eagle Force. Boom! Reviews! <laughs> hey, this is Nolan North. You don't want to miss Foo Reviews. And I'm out!